Hi. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting me join you, even though you do not even know what you're in for. But here we go. This is happening. I am on my way back from work right now. I'm driving, but I don't have a phone in my hand. I have a sound recorder, and it is, it is okay because I've still got a hand on the wheel. I'm not looking into a camera. I was still paying attention, so I feel like this is fine, and you get to hear the ambient sounds of the traffic and polite honking and engines and my air conditioner. So it's all good, right? So let's just get the big stuff out of the way, okay? Um, for those who actually mm, consistently watch my videos, you know that it has been a minute since I have posted a video. Six months to be in fact. Well, last year, for the first time in about eight years, I was able to be part of a theater show. And it was great, and I kind of fell in love with uh, doing theater again. Not just doing theater, but making new friends, and getting to kind of socialize again, and meeting new people and helping and volunteering my time to make a, a place that has a lot of potential better. So I have been performing and volunteering and producing and creating and painting and yeah, it's a lot of fun, but it's a lot of work and I still have a full-time job and I still have two beautiful, beautiful little babies. My little boy just recently turned three. My little girl is four. And I, I kind of have been stretching myself really thin lately. And life has gotten immensely more complicated in more ways than one. And I, I just kind of had a good day yesterday, and then today was a hard day, emotionally, because I didn't know what my next move was. And I always uh, hesitate to say that I've had a hard day, because inevitably someone will say, oh, you think you had a hard day. Let me tell you about mine. And girl, guy, I, I am not going to try and even tell you that this was in, in actuality an, an actual hard day. It, it was hard for me internally because I have what I call the train in my head. And whenever I get too overwhelmed with life and when I am thinking too much, which I am thinking all the time. My brain never stops. I always am thinking of something, an idea, how to make this idea come to fruition, and how to get better at being a better mom or being a better worker and how to know more about this or that. Oh, it's, it's absolutely exhausting and that doesn't even scratch the surface of things that I think about. But I had this train in my head and I just didn't know what to do. I was really just exhausted. I was frustrated because I'm not able to spend enough time with my babies right now. I'm not able to make ASMR videos. I'm not able to work on music because my attention, I, I really am stretched to the limit right now. And it's just a lot. It's a lot because I'm already tired all the time. <laughs> I am already tired all the time. I have fibromyalgia. And honestly, I don't even I don't even know if that's it's a real thing or not. I don't even that I don't even know if that's really what I have. But the doctors couldn't really pinpoint it 
so they heard my symptoms and they thought yeah you've got fibromyalgia so that's been a year-long diagnosis so far I told my wonderful wonderful best friend who always seems to give me advice and never complains about having to listen to my woes about life and I said that I wanted to maybe I just needed to be part time work part time again my kids are about to start a new daycare because they're old enough now where they kind of need a lot more socialization that's going to cost a lot more money per month and it is not the best time right now to <laughs> switch to part time work um, and anyway my friend told me some things that really just letting me get all of that out helped me to get a little bit more clarity and so I'm gonna just try to make things work because my job while it has some downsides like focusing way too much on things that I don't really care about which is social media <laughs> funny saying that as a content creator uh no it's just it's just a lot to deal with it's a lot to it's a lot of negativity to see every moment of your working day if you know what I mean with social media but I I, I just was able to get everything out and I feel like I have a lot more clarity I think that I've got my priorities more in place now and I just need to make a plan of action to actually to actualize these priorities that I have. I want to spend more time with my family. I want to make videos again. And hi, hello, hi, I've missed you so much. And I've been doing live streams periodically. I haven't been able to do them regularly because of my theater schedule. But I've missed you so much. And the live streams, while they're wonderful, they're not, um, they're a different kind of wonderful. I, I love being able to see y'all and interact with you, but it's also nice to just create a polished video and to be able to, it's a different kind of wonderful. <laughs> and it's more consistent and the live streams can get loud and they're not as, they're not always as relaxing for some viewers as they'd like them to be so I want to get back to doing that so I'm just trying to figure out some ways that I can make that happen again because making videos last year was truly my saving grace during quarantine and during the pandemic and I don't know if it was yours but it was mine it helped me connect with y'all again and my job right now doesn't really I'm still not really in a, I'm not in, anymore in a job where I'm able to have face to face interaction with people or even real interaction with people other than emails all day and comments but I just feel like I'm not making much of a difference and I don't know if you've been watching my videos for a little while you kind of know that making a difference is something that is extremely important to my day-to-day -day life. I really, really like to know that I am helping and that I'm making some sort of a difference, even if it's one person helping them to get to where they need to go metaphorically or literally or figuratively. Um, that's uh, that's my jam. That's I'm all about that life. And with just doing things on social media, a lot of times I don't have that kind of fulfillment. And so that's why I'm just in this place of frustration. And, and that's why I've been investing so much in theater. Because it's not just about acting for me or performing and that is a that's that's a, a a chunk of it for sure but I love the planning and I love organizing and I love 
making something better. So, all that, I guess, is to say that I had a sort of hard day with this train in my head. And now it's a little bit better. And I had this moment of clarity that I haven't had for a while. And I have kind of this plan of action on how I can take the time I need to not only spend time with my family, but make videos two things which are truly very important to me um yeah so I I guess in this moment of clarity and feeling like I I have a little bit more control than I feel I did a few hours ago I wanted to share that moment with you And it wasn't something that I wanted to set up a camera for and get the lighting nice and perfect so I don't feel like an ochre on camera and get the binaural mics perfect. <laughs> I just, I happened to have my sound recorder today. And so I decided in this very moment that I was just going to tell you about what's been going on, albeit a little bit vaguely in some areas, but I hope that this has, for those wondering anyway, has helped give you some clarification on where I've been. I certainly didn't abandon my channel or making videos. I didn't intend to anyway, but I'm... I am still here and I'm I'm going to try to to get back to doing what I love again. And I, I feel bad saying that because I love a lot of things. So I'm doing what I love in a way with theater and with seeing people again and being face to face and, and kind of helping <laughs> um, but a lot of times the behind the scenes work in a theater or just a non-profit organization is kind of that's a thankless job and that's okay but I um Oh, I miss, I miss making videos and I miss helping you go to sleep and relax. So, hello again. Hello, it's me. Accidentally, gracefully in your life again. <laughs> and I never seem to go away, which is fine. I want that. Wow, it's June. That means that June is the, uh, that makes it nine years that I will have been making ASMR videos. Well, I haven't been making videos for nine years, but I began this channel and this journey of accidental grace. <laughs> I started accidentally graceful nine years ago. So that's pretty cool. There's some of you that have actually been around all that time. Some of you have been around for five years. Some of you have been around for five months. Who knows? Maybe you've been around for five minutes. However long this, this monologue has been going on for. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Well, I feel hopeful right now. So... I wanted to share that hopeful moment with you and let you know that I was in a really dark place just a few hours ago and I, I am seeing the light at the moment. So I know that what I've told you has not equaled a hard 
day for a lot of you and that's totally okay I gotta stop comparing myself and start being easier on myself so yeah this was a hard day for a lot of reasons just emotionally and internally and if you're having a hard day I hope that you know that you're gonna find the clarity and the focus that you need to keep going and to get yourself to being happy again you can do it I believe in you just like my wonderful friend believed in me and helped me to realize that even just through speaking and just getting out all my feelings and frustrations that I can get through this day have a wonderful restful peaceful day or night if you've been listening this far god bless you you wonderful beautiful noble land mermaid relaxation wayfinder <sighs> so hope that you have a wonderful restful peaceful day or night wherever you are whenever you are hope that you can relax and just be a drifter tonight and drift off to a very comforting and restful sleep I really don't know when I'll talk to you again but I always hope that it's sooner rather than later see you then whenever and wherever that might be